Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here with Peterson Electric. I um, want to talk to you about ceiling fan. We're trying to, the customer asked us to try to get it to more center. This was actually drywall here just a few minutes ago, so just don't imagine that. But I unscrewed this and I pulled this out. And this is a ceiling fan, like a saddle mount for a box. Okay, uh, these are really nice in certain applications. But in a room like this where it has a decent little pitch, you want it to go dead center. So I ordered this and I got um, this uh, box, and I wish I could tell you it. I think it's made by Allied. And um, anyways, we cut it out to be centered. I'm gonna slip that in there and lag that. And then I'll push put a, a bead of caulk around that to make it nice and white and clean. And then I have a guy I can refer that'll patch that for him. Um, but yeah, this will give a dead center mount, and this is a nice lip here. Gives us about a half inch all the way up to an inch and a quarter on the sides, and so it's flush. Uh, really nice to do unless you're doing like a log home and the carpenter cuts a piece of wood. But again, that ceiling fan has to be flat, and then you don't have to worry about that knuckle being at an angle. They do make angled knuckles on certain ceiling fans when you get up to 33 pitches, especially with the more expensive ones like um, BigAssFans.com by Haiku or Casablanca or Minka. They'll have those knuckles that you can put in for the box. But this is also a really good way to do it. Um, you do have drywall damage, of course. There's nothing we can do about that other than get a patch. Thanks, guys.